Hey guys. Um, so super quickly, which we all know is not really quickly because all my videos are super long. Um, I actually came across a page that um, changed the way that I looked at a lot of things. Because like, you know, like, as you know, <laughs> if you watch my videos, things just keep falling into my lap. And I keep learning so much through this process. And I don't think it's a mistake that um, I come across this information. Sorry. So I was thinking like maybe um, the things that have been happening are like a ripple in time because it almost feels like loops are closing, if that makes any sense. Um, I've seen it happen a lot with my friend and um, a lot of the things that we did will pop up again and it feels like loops are closing. Um, so the universe is like resetting itself and allowing a new outcome. Uh, because the plan didn't go as planned. <laughs> um, so, I came across this page about time ripples. Because when I was looking for coincidences, I saw the word ripple and then I decided to look. I mean, I'm, I'm searching for the page now. That's why I'm on the computer and you hear the clicking. But, um, but yeah, I sent myself an email. But for some reason, my computer is so super slow like super slow. It's called the ripple effect and spirituality. Um, and it's laurahealingwithspirit.com. And I'll actually put the link underneath this video so you can read it. But it's basically saying that like, if you're looking at a lake, it's smooth and glossy. And then of course you throw a stone and you see ripples. But if you throw another stone next to it, then they'll have ripples and then the two ripples coincide. So depending on which stone is bigger depends on which ripples take over. So there are lots of things that can ripple in your life. And basically what you put out is what you get in. So the bigger the ripples that you put out with your thoughts and your words, the bigger the outcome, you know, that returns. It's kind of like a karma thing. Um, and the page is loading now, so um, I'll explain it more. I actually want to read certain paragraphs for you. But, um... Healing with spirits, so beautiful. So, I've yeah, I've just been going through some crazy, trippy, spiritualistic stuff, <laughs> and I'm trying my best <laughs> to just remain calm. Um, if you saw my video today, I made a three-part video of like the crazy coincidences that have been happening. It's like a lot of coincidences, um, like a lot. And I feel like when I saw my old manager, it was like that loop closing because that morning I had made the decision that I don't want to keep anything from the old job. And I actually found my old book with, um, you know, like my contracts and like my handbooks and materials and stuff. And I put it away and I'm like, I don't need this. And then I looked at, I found all my, you know, work stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give it to some other girl. Like I'm done with it. And then that same day I see my manager ride a bike and we both stop and look at each other. It was just crazy. So it's almost like that loop just closed itself. Um, anyway, so it says, I challenge you to an experiment. Print this article, take it with you, no. Uh, just like a pebble or a boulder in the water, what you sent outward goes out like ripples in the water and magnifies as it travels, right? So what you put out magnifies and then it comes back or you're, you'll come across it at some point. So your attitude creates ripples. Your body language creates ripples. Your actions and reactions creates ripples. Your words creates ripples. Your thoughts creates ripples. And your feelings creates ripples. So be careful what ripples you allow in and be careful what ripples you put out or send out. Are your ripples positive or negative? Negative ripples can give you a feeling like your finger is stuck in an electrical outlet. A sense of being fried and exhausted that you feel you really cannot explain or do not know how to explain. Positive ripples have more of a feeling of being in vibrational alignment with yourself and the universe, like a free flowing balanced energy source, which is everything I'm going through right now. If you are not in vibrational alignment, begin by building a sense of awareness. What do I mean by that? To build a sense of awareness, you need to become innately aware of your inner self and your surroundings using all of your senses. 
One of my favorite things to do, this is not the thing for me. One of my favorite things to do is to walk in nature and like just walk and close my eyes and trust the universe and be like, you know, like trying so hard not to hit a tree. And it's interesting because my friend, um, I saw them doing that. And, and then when I walk, I like do like some Indian kind of like feng shui thing. And my friend did the same thing. So it's really interesting that like, that's something that I used to do in my teens and I continue to do through my adult life and to meet somebody else the only person in the world that I've ever met that does the same exact things and feels the same joy and freedom, it was just mind blowing. This is one of the things that I want to share with you guys because if you can trust yourself to walk and close your eyes, you can hear the world and you can feel things. I mean, there were, it took a while for me to get comfortable with doing it for long periods of time. I would normally do it when I was walking to the bus stop and I was on the sidewalk and nobody was in front of me. But then like I'd walk a couple of feet and have to open my eyes because I lived in a very tree lined neighborhood. So it was really difficult. You know, I was always afraid that I was going to bump into a tree or bump into somebody's fence or bump into like, you know, like, I don't know, their mailbox or whatever. So, yeah. Um, and then it says, uh, back to the article, <laughs> if um, to build a sense of awareness, you need to become in intimately aware of your inner self and your surroundings using all your senses. Understand that you cannot change what you cannot acknowledge, so you must begin there. When you begin to master the sense of awareness, you choose the vibrations you are sending out. By keeping your vibrations high, you begin to start to enjoy life and begin to understand that it is possible to achieve your goals that you have been struggling so hard to accomplish, and you start to create a surge of positive energy affecting everything around you. For everyone to change, oh, I just, oh, for everything to change in your life, it starts with the self. Just as in spiritualism, you must take responsibility for your own life. It is a matter of yin and yang and the natural laws. If your vibrations are low or you're exhibiting negative ripples, an avalanche effect can occur, causing you to tumble into lower forms of consciousness and inferior ways of thinking, which is everything that I've been going through the last three years, which if you watch my videos, if you watch my videos from when I first started and then the last few months have been like, you know, especially the last month. And then now I'm like starting to get back to that Zen state that I started when I started the channel. Um, in many cases, you may be subconsciously self-sabotaging everything good you strive in your life without realizing you're even doing it. Just stop and think about that for a moment and digest what that really means. And I used to always tell my friend that, you know, you know, you should really look up self-sabotage because I saw this happening to them on a consistent basis. And I was absorbing that energy because I'm very sensitive to that. Um, and then it was like trickling onto me, but I was very aware and mindful and I, and I know myself so well that I was like, what is going on? This is not me. And I thank God that I had my best friend who was my witness through everything that's been going on the last few years that she always brought me back. She was like my grace, like uh, Oprah and grace. Her name's grace. And, <laughs> and, um, she, always brought me back. She's like, no, but do you remember that this happened? And you're not like this. And what's going on with you, Myra? Like get back to who you are, you know? Um, so I think it's really important. That's what I think your partner in life is supposed to be like your, whether it's your husband, your wife, um, whatever it is, you know, if you're polyamorous, those people are supposed to be your witnesses in life and they're supposed to help you get back to you, get back to Zen if you lose your way because they know you and they've learned you and they've observed you and, and they're comfortable with you and, and, they're the ones that are going to be patient as you go through any of the growing pains that are not like you. Um, in many cases, you may be subconsciously self-sabotaging everything good you strive in your life without even realizing you're doing it. Just stop and think about that for a moment and digest what that really means. You can pause the video if you want. So if your life is filled with fear, anger, and negativity, and you perpetually live in that environment, this will eventually lead to disease, which is why I always say I don't have headaches, stomach aches, nothing, because I'm always trying to come back to a positive place and I don't let other people's drama really affect me. I have the last few years because I love those people that were in my life, but I I had to disconnect myself because it was killing me. This will eventually lead to disease, disease or dis-ease um, of all areas in your mind, body, and spirit. Your life will continue to spiral down unless you make a conscious decision right there. That's the part I wanted to read to you guys right now. To, the past is in the past and can breed depression. The future has not happened yet and can breed anxiety and stress. All you have is the now, so just be happy, which is all the videos that I've been making 
liked a lot yesterday and today and going forward is live in the present moment. That's all you can control. You can't control anything else. Nothing. You can't go back and change the past. You can just hope that you get a second chance or that the universe brings you back across each other's paths so you can fix or right the wrong. You can't go into the future and get nervous about it because you don't know what's going to happen. And you know, most of the time, things don't happen the way you plan them. Like you plan one thing and then all of a sudden the universe is like, <laughs> she's so cute, she thinks that's what's going to happen. No, 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 no. Let me show you what's really going to happen. You know, so like you can't even really plan anything. You kind of can get an idea and be prepared because when an opportunity arises, the people that actually make it are the ones that were prepared for it, even though the probability of that opportunity happening was minute. Okay. Um, someone once told me that if you are told you're no good for so long and it's drilled into your head, you start to believe it. In abuse, they call that gaslighting. That's what's so funny. I never believed anything anybody told me. Like if they were like, you can't do, all I remember is my mom told me once, she said, if they can do it, you can do it. And like, I always said that I was like, if you put me in a room by myself, by the time you come and get me, if you leave me in there for a long period of time, I would have written symphonies, plays, books. I would have danced. I would have made songs so that when I come out, I'm ready to show the world, you know, what I have to share with them. You, it's so important that you keep a positive mindset. By mastering the art of awareness, you can self-correct your patterns of thinking and behavior. Hence, changing the kind of ripple effect you're sending out and receiving. You send out good vibes, good things will come to you. That's why these people that are all about war and they want to take over and control and they want to like, you know, eradicate animals and like extinct you know make them extinct and eradicate people like Hitler or whatever that's never a good thing like even it's just a power struggle it's an ego thing and when you can learn to release the ego and you can let that go and you can just come from love and just constantly share that love and give it to people and like nothing but blessings will come into your life nothing but magic nothing but coincidences and synchronicities and love and like laughter and little moments that you're like I can't believe this happened like walking down the street and having the best day of your life because everything that happened was so unexpected but so beautiful um as we think of our wait as we think of ourselves and others we send out vibrational ripples in frequencies uh oh pop up uh we send out vibrational ripples in frequencies we must nurture our inner child hey mine's always awake with self-love appreciation and gratitude this this was literally made for me because this is everything that i believe by doing so the ripples we create send out um are of love appreciation and gratitude which i didn't even read this part and i just said that spirit is always i stopped at the the past is the past like that whole thing that's where i stopped and then this is the first time i'm reading all of this Spirit is always around us, and with Spirit's guidance, you have the ability to create endless ripples with a positive impact in your life and in those of others. The choice is yours to make, so I will leave you with a few thoughts and questions to ponder. Ooh, what is she going to say? Ooh, I'm so excited. I love questions. So what does spiritualism mean to you, and how does spirituality fit in your life? Hmm. Well, um, spirituality means being connected to the source. It means um, feeling like I'm, I'm fulfilling my purpose. It means connecting with others and helping them move forward. To me. Uh, second one. What ripples are you creating right now during this very moment? I think positive ones because I'm trying to share positive information with people. And I hope that it, it comes out that way. And I know there are so many moments that I cry. You know what I mean? But I'm just so emotional, I can't help it. Um, and I don't know why. But what thought just passed through your head? I just told you. Were your thoughts loving, compassionate, nurturing, healing, and a positive vibrationally aligned? Uh, yes and no, yes. But then I had to mention something about me crying, but that's not really a bad thing. Begin with building a sense of awareness. Choose a path for your self-discovery um, of your inner being and journey to enlightenment. Connect with spirit for guidance and help along the journey. Keep your life filled with love and compassion. And remember the pebble in the pond and the impacts it creates. I al oh, this is Mother Teresa's quote. I love this one. I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples. I love her. So yeah, that is what I'm sharing with you guys tonight. I don't know what I looked like when I made this video because I was reading, so I 
didn't have the screen in front of me. But who cares? Okay, bye.